87 people are still recovering in the hospital from last week's terror attacks in Brussels. Among them is 37-year-old Sebastian Bellin. He's a former college basketball player who had planned to fly home to see his family in Michigan, and then two bombs went off at the airport. We've all seen this image. Of, it shows Bellin dazed and bloodied, laying on the ground. Doctors have now operated four times. But yesterday, he received a bedside visit that left him speechless. Mm -hmm. Vladimir Duty of our digital network, CBSN, watched the reunion take place. When we visited with Sebastien Bellin Wednesday in Brussels. Sometimes you just got to go through some short-term pain. He was talking about sacrifice. Like, for example, traveling for two, three weeks, like which I was doing. Well, that's time away from your kids. Mm -hmm. But then when you're back with them, you know, then you have some time to really be 100% for them. As he spoke about family. Oh, we, we can't wait to see him. Looking forward to speaking to him. He had no idea his brothers, dad, and stepmom were here to surprise him. What are you doing? You can't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I planned it. Oh, man. <laughs> we couldn't wait to see you, man. Speechless. It's going to take me a little time. I heard you when you saw your dad pop through the door there. What, what, just tell us what that was like. What were you thinking of? It's, it's, it's surreal. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm lost for words. You know, if, if you would have told me that this was going to happen a week after lying on the floor in that airport where everything seemed around me, you know, like the exact opposite, it's just, it's, it's two extremes. Belen's wife, Sarah, arrived Sunday. She's been sleeping by his side every night since. It was hard to process. I'm still having a hard time processing it. Seeing that photo was, I mean, extremely terrifying. Yeah. And to think that that happened to our family and right. it's like an invasion into your, your little circle. I lost 50% of my blood. I never once passed out. I never once uh, lost focus on the game plan, on what I wanted to do, you know, on how I was going to win, win that game. For CBS This Morning, Vladimir Jutier, Brussels.